and uh, we were just talking earlier with Peter's system what he does there is uh, just a general disinfectant like a milking solution cleaning the teeth you, you recommend that they're take unscrewed every day flushed and cleaned out because on the inside of the line and what we're worried about is that you get basically a layer a slimy layer what we call a biofilm and that biofilm is is the foundation work for bacterial infection so you want a, a clean opening so we're recommending unscrew it every day unscrew it, wash it flush it and clean it and yeah. leave it sit in a disinfectant yeah. And, right. and change in a new set of two teeth or and just re replicate rotate rotate your two teeth it's, okay yeah, every day every yeah. day probably the best thing to get them is a small little bottle brush okay uh, and a, a fairy tablet or a bit of fairy washed up liquid which will take that nice and grease off a relatively quick fairy, okay put it into a bowl of yeah. tin or something and leave it up and then but if you find it there that the f teeth are getting flat okay um, but then just watch if you keep rotate them every day that'll stop the teeth from getting flat because it, it'll be highly unlikely to put it back in the same position okay. every day so obviously yeah as the calf is sucking he's he's flattening that that teeth yes. in the same direction all the time so take them off and rotate them to try to keep the shape keep the shape as much yeah. as possible because that will influence the that, size of the hole that determines the size of the hole and obviously if it's been worked on at the same angle all the time you're cracking across the orifice and the teeth end opens up and we're getting a higher feeding rate then yeah. and the other thing is that your calf needs suction to bring the milk from the bowl to the teeth okay. it's actually done on suction so if you have a flat you're yes. not getting the same level of suction okay. and the same consistency of flow milk to the calf yeah so what peter's watching out for is that the the, the opening the arse stays the same, stays the same that the shape and the structure of the teeth stays, stays the, same. the same if he finds one that's excessively flat or has lost its shape well then that goes in the bin and a new one comes on exactly. okay Absolutely. and recommendation i suppose is to change them as in to replace them completely once a week or more frequently than that, I suppose it depends on the numbers. It, depend, it depends on the number of calves on the yeah. feeder, really, to be honest with you, and also depends on sort of the amount of, the amount of milk the calves are getting. So generally what you'll find is that if you're underfeeding milk yeah. to the calf, he'll stay longer fooling at a dry nipple. Okay. And when he stays fooling at a dry nipple, he'll, dis he'll yeah. make the shape, he'll dishape it much, much faster. Yeah. Yeah. So again, if you're seeing nipples get into shape fairly quickly, and it might be worth just looking at daily life with getting the calf, and if they're not doing that sort of 700 grams plus a day, it might be worth either talking to your vet or talking to your nutritionist. To yeah. Should you increase the value of it? Yeah. So take them off every day, flush them, clean them, and put on a set that were in disinfectant overnight. Overnight. And and keep going and with that process. Keep going. Yeah. Process. Okay. Yeah. And again, what we're looking for, Peter, is that that basically that biofilm kind of a fatty scummy layer that that builds up on the inside to make sure that that doesn't stay there as a residue okay yeah and it's no harm i think even as well when when uh when he's completely done with a set of, even open him up have a look inside and see what it's like on the end the residue that's there you'd be amazed what builds up over it's time yeah. Yeah. And, and the same on the pipes yeah and not just on the automatic feeders even on the on, even those on, on, on those guys hanging off the gate the bucket feeders there you'd be, the you'd be amazed what builds up in them so every now and then even to open one with a standing blade and see gives you an idea yeah. of what's what's going on what's inside, going on inside yeah yeah, yeah.